just build like a few more trees, I don't want too many. That should be fine. 40 I'll do. You don't really need some massive rating anyway. How much um, uh, space can our housing hold? 13 more people. I'm going to build another little housing block somewhere. That or I just evolve some of this housing. I think I'll take the latter option. Can I build that in there? I can if I destroy a tree. Conservatory. No, that won't work because it'll be um, too far away. Let's see. I uh, know. Oh Temple to Rack, keep that there. Let's destroy this architect's post and put a road up here to get to Papyrus. Just get a quarter, the yard, that should do. much um, granite do we need? We still need quite a bit of granite and we're running out of workers as well which doesn't help. It isn't easy this map to build 5,000 people with a ton of worker shortages. Um, if you have done this map as well and you'd like to show your um, how you built the city please do post um, up on uh, my forums uh, somewhere in the, in the thread about this, these videos. <sighs> this is taking an age. Why can't it hurry up? It won't let me build that dock, which is annoying. I'm also going to get some pomegranates as well and just involve this a bit more. We should get back our lost workers from this area evolving which should help. Because of their dreams of empire my tiny army is invading us. I don't think it's too major, the invasions, now. I think it's kind of just tapered off. I think the reason I built, um Let's land down there. Just piss off. Thank you. Let's just concentrate our time up here. What I'm actually going to do is tell the game to import uh, more than just 2400. I'm going to tell it to import a massive number just to get more in. But now we're getting invaded again. How great. Tell this storage yard to be the one that gets beer. We'll just leave that one as a pottery only. What kind of invasion land? What so?
could have built that there to try and That was odd, but there you go. It's water, of course it would be a water invasion. I'll just set all of my warships to seek and destroy. Transporting po uh, pomegranates, they're glitching. It's happening out of sight, which doesn't help. Let's turn the map around so we can actually see what's going on. Oh, they're glitching in the, the edge of the map there. reason um, people keep coming out of this uh, dock to get stuff. Don't understand it. Access to a juggler, but no access to a musician. So I think we need to move the musician. I'll switch them around. That'll do. I understand why I'm having such a difficulty getting granite. That's the only thing. They weren't important. That's the thing. How much granite do I have? It's been stuck at 128 for a while now. They're not going to trade granite which is pissing me off heavily they're gonna do no more clay imports and I'll just leave barley importing maybe I'll get um, them to import more um, Where's the rest of my ships? There's some ships missing. Oh, they're getting repaired, that's why. It's just taking a very long time. That's why it took so long. Thing. It's constantly telling me there's two little entertainment to be found in the location. God. Now let's see. Let's see, I'm just gonna put this here. To try and make things go a bit better. Put the juggler school there and tickle to Ra. There. What's our gods like? Oh, Ra's a bit upset. But that's because I destroyed his thing, wasn't it? Let's 
see, let's just build another scribal school here. I wonder if the city has Go any sight to see why they are not Thank you. That helps. But it's still not helping because it's taking too long. granite to come in. Might have made it better if the uh, granite could have been produced locally. But then that would have made the mission too easy because then you would have just had to import bricks in and then you wouldn't have all the gold. So it wouldn't have been a dried out mission. The only thing that's actually keeping me happy is that there's a constant request for dreams from Dunkel. Just gonna start building. Uh, I think I better build some more. This might actually help pomegranate production by building more farms. Let's see. As I said in the uh, mission in the mission descriptor, it does make it clear that the, the pomegranate, sorry, well, like the the farmland is limited to um, you know improve the import consumption. It's not meant to completely replace it. Constant worker problems, it doesn't help. Do you know I think another thing would help is if I actually imported grain? That might help it a bit by having a, another food stuff. Let's say it should be the receiver of grain. Not that one. I 
think that would help. If grain was an importable food. That was wasp, that's why they sold just that and nothing else. Let's see, 164, not that long to go now. <laughs> Do I think another thing would help us if I um, built some more fishing wharfs here? I'll build that there. And build a couple of houses. That and that. And a uh, roadblock. And a roadblock. There, that would help. See if we, our worker shortage is extortionately bad. Almost all the goods have to be spread out, so it makes it harder to actually, you know, build the sea. Especially when you have a poor harvest coming in from this. There's people walking along the distance up there because of houses devolving over here. I'm gonna put this up really high to try and get it to come in a bit more. <coughs> Pardon me. That's glitching again. As it tends to do. people were actually buying those pomegranates, you know. We're gonna get these up to um Fancy residents, I think, because I really am just running out of workers. We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. They're going to go to another dock to sell whatever it is they want to sell. Actually, I never think it would help us if I stopped exporting linen for a while. What was that all about? This is just evolving there. Oh, beer. And because the other houses were devolving, it meant that the other houses, uh, because of some houses devolving it meant that other houses would be affected. But I'm getting heartily sick of this now. I'm probably going to just speed up here because I am sick and tired of there being problems with my trading. Right, uh, now we've finally, finally got there. Okay, I've got to edit out all by the time you see this video, that will all have been edited out because that was taking too long. I'm going to destroy all of this because this is no longer necessary. Um, just destroy all of it. Destroying all of this because we don't need it anymore. Because um, it wasn't helping. So we'll destroy all of this. I just want to get rid of the... Um, 
fact there is stuff there, but what I'm actually going to do is just to get this to fix itself. How did that manage to get 12 workers without anything happening at all? There's no any workers next to it, what the hell? Right, never mind. We've finally got the damned obelisk built. And there's no stone masons, what I fail. I need to put one down, don't I? waiting for a dock in the middle of nowhere basically. <laughs> when I played through this I was able to do this to get the 5,000 people we needed but yet now I'm really suffering. How the hell does he have 9 linen? Glitch I think that is. <coughs> and the houses all massively devolve again. Island pottery to try and get it to build up a bit more. I'm also going to allow this guy to buy any kind of food, including pomegranates, just to interchange between all of us, try and get the workers back up. It's now just a case of waiting around and hopefully you're going to get through the mission. I think I'll make an update to this and make the, the requirements lower. So I'll put the link to the, the download in the, the, the description as well. Uh, but I'll update the map after I recorded this and make the population requirement lower. I'll make it 4,000 because 5,000 is ridiculous. It's impossible. Unless you have a ridiculously stable city. But I will try to get the 5,000 for this uh, map. Where's the carpenter? Yeah, I think that's gonna stop piling of that. We should have enough now. Yeah, they've just wandered out. We've at least got rid of the worker shortage. See, there's that one good thing about devolution in Pharaoh. If you um, have all your houses devolve, you kick out all the old people, right? Then evolve them, and then you'll get a whole pile of new people, which gets rid of any unemployment issues you're having. Because in Pharaoh, as people age, they start to not work basically. So if you get rid of all the older people by devolving their houses then you'll get new folks in which will then get rid of the worker shortages and make things more efficient. It's a win-win. Why is he hanging around waiting for a free dock? Well, that's the obelisk done. So we meet all of these goals, we just can't get the population requirement yet. Flax imports have dried up, but that doesn't help. I love the art of the deal. I think he'll eventually disappear or something. Let's see if I can build more docks along here. So I'm gonna let me build one more. Okay, let's get rid of that. And put him there. But we should just about be able to reach the gold now if we can just get the workers to go up. We've run out of jugglers now, because it was up at 40, uh, 50 culture for a little while. But right now I don't care, I'm just now caring about trying to get this mission over and done with, because I'm sick of it. I'm building two bazaars here, because this is two M. Um, one side is not getting anything at all. So hopefully I'll make the um, 
the city run better. We check our um, employment. See, now we've got unemployment of 9% because we just devolved all the housing. So now we just got to hang around waiting for this damned population to go up by another 300 people. I think the best thing in this case is to just go up here and build a housing block. We're going to destroy all this housing and just build a housing block just to get some workers. I know it's next to the fort, but really, right now, I couldn't care less where this is built. But I'm just going to destroy that fort, we don't need it. This should try and get, give some of the additional workers that we need. There we go. That's just nearly the end of this torturous mission. Finally. Come on, come on, just go up, go up, go up. Yes, there we go, finally. We've finally beaten this mission. But I am going to lower those requirements because 5,000 people is a bit too much for this. I think 4,000 is more reasonable for a city this size. So again, we just get the same message. It took us a lot longer simply because we were wasting time trying to get to 5,000 people. Anyway, that's just done with my Senni. Um, what is it called? It's my Tani Fort, yep. Yeah. So we've got all the requirements. Um, now the next mission we're going to go, the, the next custom mission, we're going to go to Cargo Oasis, which is the Abandoned Oasis. This is one of the two military missions that we can do. Uh, one of the two missions we can do after my Senni. And the other one is the where is it? Tomb for Teddy, but I haven't completed it yet. I haven't got all the events set up, and it wants four and a half thousand people and a pyramid. That's just a, a fairly peaceful one. Um, but next mission will be the cargo oasis, the abandoned oasis, um, and it wants a, a housing requirement. So it's quite a bit more different than my city. But as I said, I've got to um, lower the requirements for uh, my city. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next part guys. Bye!